we are at a point where we're starting to hit the ceiling of the capacity of the planet to support humanity in a stable way. Unfortunately, we've filled up so much of the atmosphere with greenhouse gases. We have emptied so much of the oceans of overfishing. We have destroyed so much of our ecosystems that we now have scientific evidence that we need to transform ourselves back into a safe operating space on Earth within one generation. The Holocene is called the long summer, and a very stable climate has been the conditions for the rise of civilizations as a whole. But now we are leaving this matrix, and so we are now with this epoch, which we call the Anthropocene, and this is just the result of all those cumulative human activities that are creating this big problem we're in. One thing that I find very challenging in thinking about planetary stewardship and sustainability is how we can recognize the problems that exist at scale and at the same time can't make the small changes in our own lives to correct for bad patterns that are happening. What I really need, and I think most of us need, is we need those stories that tell us the bridge from where we are today to where we want to go. And we need those stories told to us over and over and over so that we can make sense of them for ourselves and find the way to the future in solving climate change. The healing of the planet, the healing of our societies, the healing of communities and personal healing, inner healing, all of these levels are connected and they all draw from a new story. You know, that really reverberates with Māori people in terms of the poitofiti, the distant horizon. We have an intergenerational plan, 500 years, looking out further than our lifetimes and thinking about the types of steps that each generation will need to take in order to ultimately achieve the outcome that we aspire to have for our community. What we really need to see is that people understand that all of our economic value comes from nature. It's as simple really as no healthy planet means that there is no healthy people. There has never been scientifically so much reason to be deeply, deeply concerned and nervous, but equally there's never been so much reason for hope. And this is uh, the big paradox today. The window is still open for transitioning into a safe operating space where we can still have a stable planet and thereby stable local ecosystems. We are here continuing to have one ecological crisis after another, trapped in a futile response pattern. What it's asking for is a revolution of love. It's asking us to transcend being centered just on humans, to accept our participation in a larger reality. The climate crisis is an invitation to us to join the tribe of all life on Earth as a contributing member. <laughs>